look at this leaf. It's it's deformed, it's dead, it's you know, just it's colorless. But there was an intrinsic beauty about it. And then I started looking at it differently, and then I started thinking about aging. We are all like that leaf. We're, th we're going to be there one day if we're not already there. And I thought, huh. And that's when I started doing it. One after another, after another, after another. And I just kept going. Even as a teenager, I wanted to be different as an artist. I was talking to a writer and I said, you know, I want my own creative identity. He said, well, this is it. Now, I'm 70 years old. That's a long time looking for something. Now, I've done a lot of work, but, you know, it's just that it's happening now. It didn't come late. You know, it didn't come late. It's, it came at the time it was supposed to arrive. And finding that leap, or that leap finding me, was the beginning of that identity. And I thought the idea of aging, which we should celebrate, we should celebrate aging. Not condemn it, not look down upon it, it's not the end of the road, but we should celebrate age. But there are complexities that come with aging. And they haunt some. They threaten some. Some give up. But we should celebrate aging. And if you can find yourself in any of this, that is to ask a question, about your own mortality or your own struggles with aging or what threatens you about aging. Well, I've accomplished my goal.